Now let's have a look at other places where exceptions can be thrown in our application and how we can deal with those. I've come back to the products controller because earlier in the course I left myself a little message here, add error handling for not found product. Okay, so the way I'm gonna go about this is I'm gonna create another method on our repository. Choose high definition for the best viewing experience and if you'd like to join a growing group of software developers and take your skills to a new level, all you need to do is subscribe, click the little notification icon and welcome. Because I could start going down the route of saying if uh, product found here, do this, else do this, but I don't like making a big mess in my controllers. Uh, if I can sort of handle things in other ways and try and keep this as light as possible, then I will do. So I'm gonna borrow a bit of inspiration uh, from Laravel. If you've ever used Laravel, there's a nice little uh, method in there on the models called find or fail, which throws an exception if the model cannot be found. So uh, that's a pretty cool way of handling things, I think. So we're gonna do that. So let's go over to our uh, product repository. And just at the top here underneath the constructor, ignore all this other stuff which uh, Symfony does for you behind the scenes. We'll add a public function here and we'll call this find or fail. This will take an ID which will be an integer and it will return a product. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to carry on as normal and try and find a product using an ID. So we'll say product equals this find, so we're calling the find method on the repository, we'll pass the ID, and then what we're gonna do is check to see if we have a product. In fact, we're gonna check to see if we don't have a product. So if no product, then what we need to do is create a service exception data, new service exception data. We need a status code, so we'll look in here at a not found, so we'll say 404, and then the type, and so for the type, we'll just say product not found, and that'll be descriptive enough, I think. Product not found. And so now we need to throw a service exception. Throw new service exception, the only thing we need to pass to that is our exception data. So you probably agree this is pretty clean, easy, and uh, with two lines that will handle it in just the way that we want it to and give us nice messaging, a nice exception, which is easy for the end user to understand. And then here, what we're doing is we're just gonna return product because uh, if we reach this stage, nothing has gone wrong. We have a product that we can return. Let's go back to our products controller and we're going to change this to find or fail. We can remove our messaging here. Let's go over to Postman. Back over in Postman, we don't want to be triggering uh, validation exceptions now, so we're going to try and avoid doing that. So we're going to have uh, good data here, and what we need to do is look for a product which doesn't exist. So let's go for product number 55, hit go. Okay, I like it. So we're getting a 404 not found, perfect. And our type is product not found. So now we know that we can handle other types of exceptions in our service. But how about if an exception is thrown which isn't a service exception? Because if you remember our listener, we don't actually have anything set up for that. And so we're making the assumption that we're going to have this get exception data on our exception, but if we throw something which isn't a service exception, we won't get that. I think a demo will help us out here. So we don't need this anymore. That was just for when we were setting up. We've now got uh, some decent error handling in there. Let's just go and uh, get rid of that. And I'm gonna throw a different type of exception. So we'll just go with something random. JSON exception. Let's we'll say your JSON sucks. Okay, so this should be hit first now. Let's go back to Postman and run this. Kaboom, so we get a big explosion, internal server error, and what it's saying is we have an undefined uh, method error, 
and that is get exception data because this wasn't a service exception which was thrown it was a JSON exception so what is our remedy what we need to do is we need to go back to our exception listener and we need to edit this to be able to handle other kinds of exceptions in case it's not a service exception which has been thrown and so the way I'm going to start this off is to say if exception is an instance of service exception then we're going to say exception data equals exception get exception data for this part I'm actually going to set a status code variable okay so we've set our status code to 500 there and then I'm going to create an exception data equals new service exception data status code will be the status code and for the type we'll just say exception get message and then all I need to do is cut that from there and drop it underneath so let me explain what just happened so we're checking to see if it's, if it's an, a service exception in which case everything is good we can just use the exception data which we get back from the exception data method otherwise I'm going to set the status code to 500 and I'm actually going to physically create a service exception data we pass in the status code and we'll just use the uh, message which we get off of the exception and then I have exception data in either of those cases so that means that I can call exception data to array and then we just send back the response as normal so still only a few lines of code and this time if I go and run this in postman I'm expecting to see something a bit more sensible okay so my service uh, the status code is correct 500 and then we have type your JSON sucks so now we know that we are handling other types of exceptions than service exceptions here and so I hope that you're able to follow that really only a couple of changes we've added a new method to our product repository and we've uh, edited our exception listener so it can handle other types of exceptions in case they are thrown and it's not service exceptions which are thrown just going to go back to the product controller going to get rid of this line here which isn't needed and again I'll show you one other change which I made to the tests because I'm trying to keep these tests working uh, and that is DTO subscriber test so uh, the line here exception message is now constraint violation list if I go and run the tests so everything works uh, if you are seeing errors in any of your code don't forget that I create a branch for uh, most if not all of the lessons the one for this one is called other exceptions and you can get the latest code if you just have a look at the main branch if you have any comments questions or anything you want to ask or tell me then just leave a comment in the comments below and i'll see you in the next one if you've enjoyed this video and you'd like youtube to show you more of my content all you need to do is subscribe and click the notification icon and also if you're interested in my full length courses then make sure you check out my site at garyclark.tech i'll leave a link on the screen and in the description